Generic greetings and welcome to Objects in Space. This is a retro themed space sim where you will undertake various tasks in a massive open world which can include things like trading, bounty huntering, actually that's not a verb. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can engage in piracy, you can be an explorer, that sort of thing. You have your own ship and you'll be just going around the galaxy and hopefully having a lot of fun. I've played about two hours of the game so far, so it's still a first impressions because I've got used to most of the systems now and how it plays and enough to sort of demonstrate that to you, but I certainly haven't done a lot of the more advanced stuff, so I haven't uh, even fired a weapon in the game. I've mainly just been doing trading, haven't uh, really done any jumps or anything like that outside the tutorial, but either way, it's enough to show you the game and you can decide whether something for yourself or not. As always, links are in the description so you can check the uh, Steam page out and the website and things like that. It is still in development, so the typical disclaimers apply there. It isn't finished, specifically the story is only two-thirds done, I believe, and hopefully we'll get more ships and systems as the game progresses on, but they are actively looking for feedback, so again, all the links in the description. So, let's just crack straight into it. So, this is a space station, so I'm at a space station. Specifically, if I open up my Omega device, which is a mix between a mixed between a universal translator and sort of um, pocket computer. As pocket as you're going to get in this world. As I said, it's in this retro world where everything is a bit sort of like your 8-bit micros. So your Amstrads, your Acorns, uh, insert, uh, you know, other um, 80s, uh, other 80s sort of 8-bit... Uh, um Micro machines there. Micro machines? No, they're, they're little toy cars. You get the idea. It's 8-bit uh, computers, that sort of thing. And uh, obviously it all looks like that. So I'm at the Prefect Outpost here, and I've travelled quite a bit around here. Uh, this is like nebula stuff, so you, there is a reason to go into there or stay out of it. This is an area where I've not actually been. You've also got uh, jump gates to go between the different sectors. There you go. This is our overall. This is the cluster here. These ones I've not been to. I'm guessing you need your own jump drive to get to that, but again, I haven't actually done any of that. I've not even fired a weapon, as I said. It's uh, something I've not, uh, I've not engaged with. I've, I've tried to stay away from uh, combat as much as possible. So I'm going to show you a typical, typical trade route, I think. So we're going to go over to, oh, actually we'll click on this because you can see my ship. That is my ship there. It's the Sashen, actually, I thought it said Sashwen for a moment there. Uh, it's a Ceres Mark III FRT, probably class, probably means frigate. Uh, it looks a mix between, like, a Firefly class vessel from Firefly slash Serenity and a Explorer class vessel from Babylon 5, two of my favourite ships. So they've just clamped, both, clamped two together, job done, I'll go with that, we like it. You can see we've got different pods on it, so one of them is temperature controlled because I did do a mission which required... A a temperature control environment so there you go you can have different modules outfitted to it armaments well I, do, I, I don't but you can have them on there uh, you can also buy spares for your vessel because you will get damage and that's one of the uh, things that is simulated on this one so you need different capacitors and things like that and other uh, other components which is cool um, anyway so we're gonna go over to the mission terminal and we'll see if we can get a mission uh, so oh, I like the uh, that you get all these um, these adverts pop up. They're quite quite good. Some of them. There's one for like um, a big television. It's like reliable, compact. It's like no. It's a big brick. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be the next one. Come on. No. Apparently, it's for flight pants from 30C. Uh, with you. <laughs> With you for the long haul, while stocks last. Very nice. Anyway, so, mission terminal. We're just going to go along, and that's medical. That's train. Next train arriving in three minutes. Cool. Oh, there's, 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 there's the TV, and someone's in the way. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, where is the mission terminal? Um, this is a ship broker. We don't want that. This is the mechanic. We don't want that. This is, aha, commerce, contracts, and passengers. So, we'll check passengers out. So, there'll be some passengers that require you to take them to somewhere. We've also got um, bounties and loans. Let's go to contracts. No contracts. So there's no no contracts here for um, carrying cargo. But there is some. Pa there are some passengers. So this one here, name Paris, Israel, and it is the destination the ESA spaceport in the Galileo sector. And this one is another one as well. Oh, in the Sagan's Light. So can I travel there? Let's have a look. So got a cluster. Um, I... Oh, that's one there, Sagan's Light, so I'd have to go through one, two uh, areas, so you know what, I'm not going to do that. Okay, new plan, what I'll do is I'll undock, I'll travel somewhere, and then we will be able to uh, get another mission, like cargo, because sadly there isn't one here. Let's just try that once more t one more time. Once more, um, contracts, no contracts, no. What about licenses? Um, Leon Aerospace. Uh, contracts will be available. Let's buy the license. Aha! 
There we go. So, got the license so I can do the mission here. Four. So, from here, deliver to Sterling Industrial Outpost in Tenga. Okay. Well, I think Tenga is one jump away. Yes, it is. Okay, let's do that, because then we'll, uh, then we'll go through a jump gate, which I have not done. So, I'll go over to um, the contract, and I will take that contract. Jump, jump required, yes, but not jump drive. Take contract. I mean, this could all be, this could all be bad. Uh, we'll go over to here, which shows us our... Oh, I need to uh, sell that. Hang on. There we go. That was... Um, why can I not sell that? Sell, 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 sell. There we go. That was something that was uh, in from a previous mission. Uh, so this is where we can... This, is t this term allows us to buy things. So trading terminals. So you've got things like uh, sc scrap commodities, radioactive waste. Ooh. Yeah, let's not have that. Um, we've got organs. You get <laughs> all sorts of stuff. And not ones you play either. It's ones you, you know, put in people. Um... We've got Helium-3, so this one here, 25 of it, and it's costing nothing. That's because it's the mission that we have. You can see it's filled up both of my slots there. We could take another 15, but, you know, that's not what the mission is. So we've got those. So we will go to our ship, and we will head off. So first things first, I need to request permission to undock. Um, if you had any outstanding... Um, uh, fines or something you would have to pay them there and we'll go into the ship which apparently is very loud so we will close the doors there's the outer door and there's the inner door i have not yet tried to um undock from the space station while the doors were open and i'm not going to try it on purpose <laughs> now the whole point is the things are simulated so you've got things like interior pressure uh, temperature that sort of thing so flying close to the star probably not a good idea we've got um, like living quarters we've got the um we've got like a like a bedroom type thing here and you can see all of the uh the terminals here and uh, things like that. When you mouse over stuff and you wait, it'll uh, pop up sometimes to tell you what things are. But this is just telling us the internal temperature and pressure and whether the reactor is on or not and things like that. So we're docked, so the, there's no point in the reactor being on because we just got an umbilical and we'll hook it up. Um, this is our comms array, so we can sync up the comms and things like that. I'm actually going to do that. Now, you can see it says turn on auto sync. You might be thinking, well, why don't you just auto sync your mails? Well, there's a reason for it, which I will go through a little bit later on. Uh, we've got our reactor, which is not currently on, but uh, you can see we've got the state of it, we've got a uh, system, so we can say help, and it gives us things like what we can do, so the command source, status, and it tells you the status of the ship and what's going on there, cool. We've got the uh, module modules for the vessel so we can say comms array, you get all of the uh, outputs, so EM and uh, all the noise and stuff that it's... Uh, generating and what it's connected to and you can disconnect it for reasons that will maybe come clear later on this is our power usage where we've got like reactors and batteries and all that sort of stuff and what things are using so if i if i go over to here and say sync now and go back you can see that the comms is draining energy the green means it's you know providing it red means it's draining it and then we go to our main terminal here and this is where we basically you drive the ship we pilot the ship so all different types of controls um you've got your christmas tree on the left hand side it shows you what's turned on like i said if you ma if you just uh, leave your mouse over it tells you what's there so this is your sensor array this is your um, main i guess it would what's it say helm weapons and cargo uh, control we've got our um uh, communications on the left it shows you what messages we've got there and then our main um, uh, nav map down the bottom which most of the options are currently off because we're still docked up so yeah oh we've also got the ability to put music on cool uh, this thing in the center uh, shows you the power uh, storage um, loss and gains so this is our essentially a capacitor what we've got stored okay this one here shows us our current generation or usage if it's in green it means you're generating uh, if it's in red it means you're losing it and obviously they'll start draining this and yes the ship can then turn off and all that sort of thing we've got this one here this um this um five bar thing here that is currently not lit up now this one is something you'll have to keep an eye on because this is essentially your stealth rating so the higher it higher the um, worse it is so you want it as low as possible if you're trying to be stealthy if you don't care then it doesn't really matter what it goes up to but it's how noisy you're being what sort of um, noise you're giving out um, not just you know shouting from the windows we're talking like EM signature and all different things and how hot your ship is um, that sort of thing and how easy you are to detect um, so Right, what we're going to do is we are going to undock 
and we're going to try and head to the Tegra system. And as I said, I've not actually went through a jump gate, so we'll have to see what that is like. But first, I believe I do have a mail. So I will say mail, and we've got Leon Aerospace. Welcome, you've spent money to make money, and you have just spent 500 credits to acquire uh, on acquiring the right to take contracts for Leon Aerospace. Congratulations. By the way, there is a story that goes with this, and I don't want to spoil too much, but basically you're heading to a new area to colonize it and set up a jump gate to earth and um, things happen um, and then you know there you go I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna spoil too much too for you because it is a story uh, I think uh, later on uh, what to, the, the, the end goal is to have a full story with the game but also sandbox mode as well as um, like uh, individual scenarios and missions I think anyway we can also click on uh, different things like the uh, like the switch for the uh, <laughs> for the for the window there, we'll just close that, we don't need to see that. And uh, what I'm also going to do is go back to, uh, I'm going to turn that off because that's getting really, really loud. I wonder if there's anything else actually. Um, objects in space, I oh, will try that, there we go. Right, so let's undock and we will head off. So our destination, just to remind ourselves, if we open up our Omega pad, we can see it is, um, apparently, it's, I've still got missions here. Uh, produce to penetrate commercial, and I thought I'd done that. Hmm. I obviously have not. Hours left, minus a lot of hours. Uh oh. Okay. Anyway, so uh, 25 helium three to Sterling Industry uh, Sterling Industrial Outpost. Difficulty easy. Uh, it's in Tega. So let's crack on. We will undock. And you can see it's detaching from shore, preparing to launch. I'm just going to turn that off. And there we go. We are now in space. So, what do all of these things mean? Well, that's not entirely easy to explain in one go. But... Yeah, we'll give it a punt, why not? Okay, so on the top right, our helm control, you can see we have our... Di our relative speed. We have uh, direction um, and, well... It, it, it is um, set so that we will not just, you, you don't, it's not, Star Trek, it's not Star Wars or Star Trek where you just fly in one direction, that's how it works, no. Uh, you've got your vector and you've got your, um, he your heading, so for example, I can rotate the ship like that and it will rotate both of these, but if I burn a little bit and start heading off in direction, I can then turn the ship and you can see the ship is actually pointing in the blue, but it's heading in the red, because that's how it works. That's space. Um, that's your vector stuff, isn't it? So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to, however, go to full stop, and it will automatically uh, turn us round like that, you can see, and then activate the main burn, and then it stops us dead. There you go. You can manually control it if you want to. It's all possible. So, we need to go to... Um, we need to go to... Uh, where is it? Is it over on the left? It will just be there. Um, Leo Maru Jump Gate? No. Um, Leo Tega Jump Gate? That one. So I'm going to plot a course to there. And you can see it just brings this line all the way down. However, I don't really want to go too close to the center. So I'm actually going to take a bit of an alternate route. So I'm going to clear that. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to say go to probably travel there, so there, and then to there, and then to there, there we go, and I will plot that course, actually it's already plotted I believe, and we will engage, and what the ship does is it spins around and it starts to burn, you can see now I've got no stealth whatsoever, and I was using a lot of power, but we're okay now because um, we've you know, turned the drive off, and we're just going to head in that direction. Okay, you can see we've got this yellow line. This means we've detected something, and you can see that there's something ahead of us. Possible 18. So that is a signature on there. We've also got other ones going around. The blue ones are the authorities or military ships, and you've got green ones that are where well, space stations or other traders. So, um, oh, attention freighter, Szechuan, uh, prepare to be scanned. Okay, so I'm going to get scanned. I have no problem with that because I'm not carrying any... 
uh, contraband. So I'm going to get scanned by the swallow. If I click on the swallow, by the way, we can see uh, all of the sensor readings from it. So we can see it's uh, got IFF, it's reactor, uh, RCS, things that actually I should probably turn on my um, RFF. And, um, oh, I'm getting scanned. So I will enter. Oh, I'm getting hailed. So I will answer the hail. So we'll see what it's saying. Connected. Oi, back off. Don't even think about it. Keep your s s grappling arm off our stuff. I'm not doing anything. What are you talking about? This here wreckage is mine. I got here first, understand? What wreck? Yeah, first come, first serve. We found this wreck. Fair and square. So the cargo's ours. End of story. Um, I'm not here to take your cargo, friend. Damn right you weren't. <laughs> and, uh, right, so yeah. That was the um, SS... Um, which one was it? The Taskyovsky, which is... Where is it? Where is that ship? Um, I don't even know where it is. Oh, well. Not too bothered. <laughs> uh, did we get scanned? I think we did. Anyway. And you can see this is the comms terminal, so we can uh, have a chat with other people and things like that. So we can say Concord, uh, we can say Enter, talk that one, or say the Harbour, or Lago Gasport. We can open up comms with it. It takes a while to sync up, as, it, as you might imagine. Welcome to the Gasport Automated Service. Uh, we'll see. You can see view trade prices, things like that. Yeah. We will go down, disconnect, and then there you go. Um, how do you go back over to the main view? Nah, don't matter. Right, so that's all sorted. Um, you've got a couple of other buttons. This turns the reactor off. Um, you might want to do that because you're trying to be stealthy. I don't really want to do that because I'm, I'm not carrying anything dodgy. So I'm just sort of heading down here. You can see there's other people passing me, so more ships. Click on the ship. You can see it's um, definitely got a reactor signature, so we know it's a ship. Loads of stats that may be useful to you, maybe not. Um, it, mainly it's the ones that you don't really know. Like, for example, oh, what's that there? Oh, there's that ship there. <laughs> the one that was uh, being annoying. Oh, actually, can you see we're burning? We've just burnt a different way because um, we got to our first waypoint and we're still heading down. Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Um, oh, there's another button as well. That just goes into essentially silent running, turns off the reactor, uh, um, things like that, and just tries to make you go real silent. Because I've got my IFF on, don't think it's going to work too much <laughs> being stealthy there. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Um, speaking of stealthy, this is these here, these sort of gas areas. I don't know if they're called nebulas, but it's just gas. And, because uh, Nebula is quite big. Um, if you go in here, you get uh, you get an exterior bonus to be stealthy and stuff. So you might want to sneak through here if you've got contraband and such. Uh, lots of different signatures there. Loads of it. Um, so if we go over to the reactor, you can hear how noisy the thing is. Yep, sounds like about 10 spanners in a blender, but at least it's working. What happens, though, if it broke? Say, for example, this reactor didn't work. Well, we can then start repairing it. Now, what would you do to repair it? Well, you can disconnect it first. Oh, uh, apparently I'm being s prepared to be scanned. Okay, fine. Let me just go back. Hang on. Um, how do I go out of this? Don't know. We're going to get scanned. Well, there's nothing. We're not, we're not hiding anything, so I don't really care too much. Oh, there's the outside. Yeah, you, you can't activate the doors. There's safety restrictions on there, which is good. So, so yeah, imagine the, the reactor broke or something broke. Well, you might need to repair it. So I'm going to disconnect our comms, and I'm going to open the comms, and we can see we've got uh, the panel here. So it is all working. So all different components here. We can see uh, what, what it's doing. So it's currently in the green. The scans are clean. Travel safely. Thank you very much. So we can, for example, start taking the screws out of this one and open up the panel, and we can say, right, that part's broke, and you can rip it out, and then it turns off. So the, the sensors, uh, the comms are now totally broken. But imagine if that part was broken. Well, you might have to have spares. What if that component in the reactor broke? Well, you might have to then start to cannibalize other systems in order to get it working. Specifically, if your beverage dispenser breaks down, obviously, you really, really need to fix that, because, you know, if you don't have a beverage in space, then... Hmm. What's the point in being alive? Uh, today's space-faring beverage is a nice cup of Earl Grey. Uh, so we'll put that back in, and then we'll close that off. So yes, you can cannibalize different components in order to fix others, which is um, something you will probably do. If uh, your reactor's damaged, you will probably say, right, well, let's remove this, uh, the nav or the comms or the navcom or something in order to fix that. Uh, you can see we've got empty slots as well, so we can uh, put different things on there so you can upgrade your ship. Let's just connect that back up. So now we have comms, and we can go over to the... Uh, 
go over to this, and it's now working, which is good. Um, so what have we got? Where are we, in fact? We are still heading down, and good grief, we are now blazing a trail. All this here is like a fog of war. We've not been through here, and it looks like this is a bit of an asteroid field. That could go badly if we stack... Oh, yes. Exterior. Asteroids. Density 5%. Fair enough. Uh, we'll recenter that. There we are, and we'll go back. Um, so, what else? Uh, what else can you alter that I really need to mention? Um, well, I've mentioned uh, the sinking of this one. That's not good. Warning: physical. Did that say warning? Physical damage taken from asteroid. Uh oh. And what's that? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to turn off my uh, my IFF. And that is another asteroid. Uh, that is heading... Oh, it's a frigate, apparently. Unknown. Reactors on. No IFF signal, though. And no RCS. So it is just basically just drifting that way. Why is it doing that? Well, it could be that they're carrying something they shouldn't be. Or they're trying to be a bit stealthy for various reasons. So they could be... Uh-oh, new contact with no IFF active. Yeah, it realised that there's something up there. Um, definitely a ship. There it is there. Unknown. No IFF, so I don't know what ship it is. But it is going further away, which is good. The one that I'm concerned about is that one, though. Um, however, it's got no signatures that I can detect. So that's either a sensor ghost, or it's a really, really stealthy ship. But it just happens to be coming my way. So I'm going to turn us that way and burn. Okay, because I just want to get away from it. I just want to see if it changes direction it didn't actually I don't know because to be fair I span outside my sensor arc I think it's gone I think it's okay anyway I'm uh, burning in the opposite direction just to slow down there and uh, get back on course there we are see I don't know what that one's up to uh, that's the Marco Tran authority vessel we're probably getting scanned again um, you can see we're running out of power as well yeah, I'm going to put my IFF on. Oh, look at the center. The center bit's been damaged. I wonder if we've actually got any damaged um, damaged systems here. Um, let's have a look. In here. No, I, nothing there. Um, where would I tell? Battery's going down as well. Ah, we're docking up to the... Uh, we're docking up to the jump gate. And there we go. Okay, so, destination tagger cost 22. I will pay the fee in a moment. I'm just going to check, though, to see if we can... Uh, have we got a new... Im oh, we've got inbox new. Let's, uh, let's sync that. I mentioned about not having auto-sync on. The reason I don't have it on is because if it auto-syncs, then it's always going to be broadcasting and uh, it uh, can... Well, for a start, it uses power, but it also spikes your... Uh, it also spikes your um, signature. Oh, apparently there's a, a no IFF fine. Because I didn't have my IFF um, on, I've uh, been fined 50 credits. Oh, well, I'll have to pay that later on. Um, what else can we do? Oh, yes, we can uh, say DIR, and we've got mail, news, and then other options for deleting things on your uh, ship. We'll say news. And um, this gives you, like, ideas of... Ideas of what's going on in the galaxy, progress of the story in bits, I guess, as well as uh, it can also give you clues in what to do. Uh, speaking of that, go back on that one, go to mail. You can see I've got several mails here, and uh, things like, um, where is it? That's just a test mail. There's someone I spoke to, and, uh, oh, there you go. Uh, so this is um, from Akai Hasangua. And she uh, was very nice, uh, lady on the on the on the space stations, and we had a we had a chat. And she said, "Oh yeah, if, um, I'm a good pilot, and such. I'll give you some tips." And then sent me this mail, which is pretty cool. So you know, meeting people and having a chat, it uh, it worked out there. Anyway, um, I'm now docked up, so uh, you know what? Let's just pay the fee, and um, we'll jump. And oh, uh oh, oh yeah, that's all good. I hope that's rebooting the computers. Yep. It's loading everything back up. We should now be in a different sector. Hopefully, once the nav map comes back on. Primary light damage, yeah. Hull temperature 0 0.00. 0. Hang on. It's complete. Uh, oh, it's greasy. That's fine. Nothing to say. Is that Kelvin? Um, right, so we are now here. 
Excellent. Uh, where do we need to be? Um, Sterling Industrial, I believe it was. I'll check. Sterling Industrial Outpost. Yep, there it is. Engage. And then we'll head off. So this is just the, really, the moment-to-moment -moment of uh, of the game. And for trading, obviously, if you've got uh, fighting, you'll be trying to find different ships. And um, it's really about keeping an eye on the systems. And Oh, can you see this? Look, we're out of power. We're actually trying to use more than what we have. That is all kinds of bad. Uh, if I go over to here, you can see the RCS is spiking, using, 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 because the reactor is really doing its best, but it's just not going to get there. Um, eventually, though, I believe we will. Or is it in a... Oh, it might be in a loop. Hang on. Uh, it might be in a loop. What I'll do is I'll burn low power emergency shutdown. There we go. Right, so then I'll engage again. Hmm. Cancel autopilot. We're still drifting, so that's okay. We're still heading. We're going to wait until this builds up, and then we'll do another burn. We've also got another signature here. Um, unknown. Possible 34. Uh... Nah, could be just a sensor ghost or quite far away. Got another one as well. That does have reactor going on it, so that's a ship of some kind. It's also coming towards me. Let's just uh, plot the course to there. Plot it. Engage. There we go. And why are we turning around? Why are we going around like that? Okay, that's fine. So that's still unknown. No IFF though, I'm guessing. No, 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 no IFF. What the, what are they up to? I mean, look at that, I'm, I'm right close to it and I can't. Low power emergency shutdown, that's not right. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, it's because of that. Definitely a ship. We knew it was going to be a ship anyway, but there you go. It's heading away, so I really mind too much. Um, and for some reason... I was going to say the Delorade is heading towards it, the Authority ship. I don't know. I think they're up to something a bit naughty. We could try and hail it. Um, could we hail it? Um, don't know if we could. Anyway. So how far are we getting? Uh... It takes a while to get there. Uh, you can, if you wish, do some uh, time compression. Uh, you can comp you can do it up to four times. Uh, warning: time cut back to uh, one percent. Uh, yeah, normal because possible threat. Um, so you can see my stealth reading is garbage because you know I've been. Uh, well, I've got my IFF on. Uh, that still says emergency shutdown. No, that's alright now. That's fine. And uh, we've got an SOS beacon as well in case you run out of uh, power or something like that. It says message is new. Let's go and uh, have a look at that. Ah, hang on. New, I need to sync it. That's really loud. Should really alter that. You can alter it. Uh in there, for example. <laughs> we can alter the music volume. Oh, it's only on 60% anywhere. Good grief. Who knows? Right. Um, how are we getting on? There's another... possible. It's got a reactor signature. Um, this is a big list of all of the uh, ships and stellar bodies and everything else that we've detected. Um, you can manually scroll through them, if you wish, although just clicking on them uh, on here, which also selects them. And you've got all the ones at the top, which is... I think that... Um, uh, v for vessels, I'm guessing. ST. What would ST be? Um, stationary, like ta yeah. And then NA, like undefined, I guess. Planets, yeah, things like that. And we'll just say all. So I mean, they're still. We still know where they are. Hmm. Right, so I think what we'll do, we'll just uh, speed up time a bit. Because we have the power of gods. Or physics. And what's going on here? We've got some uh, chatter on here. Scans clean, travel safely, spark. So that's uh, 
attention. Oh, that's that. That's uh, getting scanned. Attention, Rater Casper Zion. You can see we get we've got some artifacting going on there because of the uh, <laughs> the general noise. That's so we're not getting it all in. It's details like that that really uh, I really appreciate in this. Let's go to a mill. Uh, ah, some Jackson Fairlane. Uh, Oh, it's one of our old friends, apparently. Ah, that's story stuff. And we will just close that down for now. I mean, you could back it up and uh, you back it up and pause it if you really want to read that. But yeah, that's some of the story stuff. So we'll uh, leave that for now. All right, let's just speed up the time bit. Come on, time compression. Get up to. It. Should we get up to? Ah, nah, it's just going to keep going back down because of that, which is a shame. But we're almost at our destination, and then we can sell and hopefully repair the ship because it's currently. Not broken, but it's uh, taken some damage. I wonder if it physically changes, like the stuff physically changes. I'm not really too sure if it does. Um, reactor. Disconnect. No, let's not do that. That would be all kinds of bad. Um, reactor online. Power generation. Uh, five megawatts. Out of 5 megawatts, so that's fine, it's working alright. Power start, 69.98 megawatts out of 70 megawatts. Power drain, 1.2 megawatts. Efficiency, 114%. Cool, very efficient. Uh, help, what's this terminal do? Uh, what the hell's rot? Rotate ship using RCS. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. Um, module. Mm, does not work. Status. And that gives us the same that's up there, right? So if one of the panels breaks, we know we can uh, use that. Oh, this is actually around some planets, by the look of it. Which would make sense. I mean, you don't normally put a space station in the middle of nowhere because it doesn't really make much sense. There's another something or other. Got a reactor, but very low signature. So it's either not using much power or it's... Uh, being stealthy. So he's gonna. You can see the ships actually span round now. So that's the way we're travelling. That's the way we're pointing. And we're gonna burn. And this will go to nothing because we are now docking up. So docking clamps extended, attached, connecting to the shore power, then the reactor will power down. Just checking the life support there. All done. And welcome to Sterling Industrial. And undocking. Permission requested and accepted. And we'll go out to Sterling Industrial. Hello! Oh, and there's someone we can talk to. So I can say, hi there. So, uh, Astrian Alas, language Norwegian. Say, you headed to Leo anytime soon? Uh, Leo, how come? Well, we probably will be heading back, yes. Seaball? What's that? You haven't heard? No. Spacefaring types heard everything. The latest thing in Leo. Uh, must have missed it. <laughs> Microgravity thing where you play in a sphere. Okay. Ah, oh, she wants to wants travel. Where in Leo is it? Crassus. That's convenient. Understand the team's forming everywhere. Okay. We might do that. Um... We'll just say yes. Pay me and we'll... Tr oh, pay you... What? 980. Yeah, too right. Lovely. I'll meet you on board. Cool. We just got a job. Nice one. Anyway, so we need to go to... Where is it? Here. And we will sell. And there's our mission done. Contract completion bonus, 169. And also, we get to sell it for the... Uh, for the, um, the price that uh, they're buying it for here. So not only do we get money for just selling it, we also get the mission bonus as well. And that is just one mission. And that is a little bit of objects in space. I'm now going to repair the uh, the hull. Oh, it's only 5%. There we go. Fixed. Job done. Excellent. Caution. Crane overhead. And ironically, you sort of put your face in the crane when you look at that. <laughs> so, um, what can I do from here? Well, there's different ships that I could buy. Uh, currently says money after minus 60 grand. I'm not going to be get that. I don't think I'll be getting that. Um, you can get loans, but I don't really want to go down that route. I'd rather work and get some money. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of objects in space. To be honest with you, there's not 
really anything that I don't like about the game. It's a nice open world. I love the retro feel of it. I like the uh, the way all the systems uh, work together on the ship, so it's all simulated and uh, things can break down. You have to repair them, and you know you have to look at all the sensor readings and stuff. And the, the moment to moment is quite engaging. Um, in terms of its look, obviously, I think it like that could. Put, certainly put some people off. I totally understand that. I have had a couple of graphical issues where we get I got black lines around the outside until I alt and tab and come back. And you can see as I'm moving around, we're getting some weird artifacting here. I'm not too sure whether that's uh, designed to be that way or not. But um, you know, none of these are deal breakers. It just is what it is. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of objects in space. If you like what you see, then links are in the description so you can check it out yourself. Uh, if you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. I'm. Uh, I'm excited to play more. With the story not being finished, however, I might just uh, play around as like a sort of sandbox thing and uh, have a mess around and try some bounty hunting stuff and um, yeah, just, you know, just see what I can do really and see where see what the limitations of the game are. Then I'll probably start a new, start afresh, and then uh, go from there. Now that I've got uh, the, the thing down. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.